Good day and welcome. Today I'd like to go into a new series of drawing, people, figure, um, with more advanced knowledge to what we've been discussing before. Our first block of videos that I worked on here was the basics of how to draw a human, from the proportions to the actual faces to um, the lines that we have. And speaking of lines, we go into a more advanced level now when we talk about a thing called gesture. Gesture is actually the inside line or the dynamics of an actual person. So in this more advanced series, I'd like to talk more about what a figure can be as an art piece. Gesture, as we have here, it starts with the idea that it creates a lot more action. We understand our action to the actual figure by using gesture. We also get to understand the mood of the person as well or figure. So action and mood are two very essential things that come into understanding gesture. Now gesture is something that we look at as the inside line, as I said just a minute ago, and that is simply the stick form of a person. Now many of us have drawn very rigid, very sort of simple drawings when we were younger as well with people. I use a stick figure here as an example if we have one running, I often see that people will have the person running in this particular sense. And this particular uh, vine drawing here is a gesture in a way too. Now, it's not very artsy in that many of the lines could be a little bit more loose, which I'll talk about. But at the same time, this gives us a feeling of movement, which is action. However, the more we discover the actual person, the more we start thinking about the words and the energies behind somebody, both in cartooning and realistic drawing, we can start to look more into how the words and dynamics can be expressed more clearly. This is a person running, but they could be slightly jogging because it doesn't show an awful lot of energy. Now, if we take that same idea, but we want to say somebody running at full tilt, pushing that actual energy further. This particular sketch would not actually refer to somebody running at full tilt. Full tilt, which is an old expression, the idea of somebody leaning forward with a matter of forward push, and that gives us this kind of drawing, which will definitely bring that concept into play. Arms wailing up backwards and head and in a very tilted fashion. We often use action lines and cartooning and stuff like that where we could go like this with a couple of lines going that to create a little dust mark. But the interesting thing with all that is that this one, without any marks, gives us a really fast movement in its own lines, which is the gesture or inside movement and lines to this figure. Gesture is a multifaceted idea because we get into, like I said, not just action, but mood. Mood is also very much implied or put suggested through the very lines that we see inside. If a person was to lean their head forwards with a bent over neck, our shoulder, and using our sketch work from our first series of the I, capital I figure, this is how I work with it, then I could put the pelvis in here, the shoulder here, and I might have the sadness of a person who's having a very heavy day and that feeling is implied through these lines here. Another way of it is somebody is strutting past with not really any problems at all, just going forwards and moving very um, confidently through a crowd or into whatever activity they're doing. I have run out of room down here, and just once again, in all drawing, if you do run out of room, don't try to force things shorter. Just a note. So, gesture, the inside line or stick form, is a way in which we can express both action and mood. And in those particular instances there, we can go into a lot more storytelling than just simply trying to draw a person. And that is the advanced level of thinking in a lot of ways with drawing. I would suggest to you that you could use many tools for this idea. This here is a stick of willow charcoal. Willow charcoal is a very soft medium. It's actually charcoal. 
it is not compressed but a lot of artists will use compressed those are the big square blocks that are very dense and sooty this one is just a willow branch that has been burned the nice thing about this particular tool or this material to draw with is that it has a lot of softness to it quickness to it and you can rub it a little bit to kind of get rid of the uh, lines that might be too bold and stuff it is one of those mediums or two uh, materials that we often use in drawing um, in a gesture drawing especially in quick gestures um, to give you another sample of the idea of movement if I were to take that and come down this way with the capital I figure there is Notice I'm not using straight lines, for instance, because that makes it very rigid coming back to the first runner. But that kind of idea is it's not, it's like I said, the looseness of it, the feeling of, of energy. I've also got some curvature within the lines too to kind of build a bit of form, even though it's still a stick figure. So I'm trying to create maybe a little bit of a calf line here, that line there without saying too much. I'm actually saying enough. And if I come down here, right to there, we have perhaps a female figure that is in a pose of walking with a little bit more of a uh, feminine approach. And that kind of action can be implied very quickly with the gesture. Interestingly enough, like I said, this is the willow charcoal. You can create a little bit of energy and looseness within your lines, but you can also correct you can rub out, you can work it a little bit stronger and move it in there. Whenever we do gesture drawings in a more formal, artistic way, we tend to add just a few extra lines here and there to just build up a little bit more of the actual stick itself. So it isn't a straight forward line. That in itself, again, is action. But we can also create mood. We can have a person who has themselves a very inquisitive, watchful pose, maybe toward a, 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 an accident, a, um, perhaps maybe even an air show. We have the person who is standing, observing with intent toward that other scene. So this particular thing also suggests again a mood. So we have actions and moods. Interesting again is the idea that with just the inside line we can end up with a very interesting story and this is part of the very advanced level of thinking when it comes to looking at other artworks. There's a very famous piece by Michelangelo, Sistine Chapel. It is the creation of Adam and God and God's, I mean the creation of Adam. Adam and God are touching fingers together. Almost everybody knows this piece. Um, when you look at it though, the story is not about the body, the body mass and anything that you can take all the muscles, all the clothing, everything, and you can take that completely away and get to the stick form, the gesture to tell the story that's really inside that. And there's a very powerful story that comes about. If we look at it, God is the main character on the right hand side. And this character is stretching and pushing its way in from the levels of the ether above to kind of look toward mankind with the fingers stretched fully out looking to touch that of Adam the human. But when you look at Adam's form you will find very clearly that there is a very nonchalant or casual uh, yeah whatever type of attitude that is expressed through not only the body form but even at the very ends of the fingers, the very index finger is bent slightly in a very, um, yeah, whatever type. So the story of God and Adam shows that the stress and strain from the inside lines of the figure show that God is making as much effort toward mankind, whereas Adam, humankind, is actually not making as much effort it is more of a casualness to it all these particular stories are locked in their gestures or inside lines and this is where using that idea and starting that off in your mind as well as even when drawing you will actually end up with more powerful stories than just simply trying to gain the figure 
as accurate as you can. So, gesture, the very important feature to making more than just the form, but the actual story behind people. And I recommend a very simple um, exercise uh, if you're into it. Uh, you might want to take people that are around you or from magazines or from wherever source you see a person and just sit and just draw their inside line. Try to be as accurate as from our first sessions of how people's body um, is. And also, so in a seated sense, looking on from here to maybe playing a game on computer. You might have the desk, okay? You might have somebody who's just standing and talking to somebody else over the shoulders. Be loose, be energetic. Put in some of the features of shadows and light and don't go into all the actual body mass. Too many students, as one last note, will try to make a gesture drawing as though they were making an actual full human. This is not gesture drawing. Gesture drawing is actually the inside line of the human's action or mood. And play around with that idea for a while and practice that and you will get a little bit more of a powerful understanding of what a person is really doing before building up all the muscles and all the body mass on top. And that, therefore, is our first lesson on the, in an advanced sense of figure, and it is gesture.